Good afternoon. We begin today with breaking news, a surprise move by Premier Jim Prentice and his Tory government. This in response to falling oil prices and dropping revenue. What happened next made a horrible situation even worse. With her four-year-old severely injured daughter in her arms, Jody Chilson went up onto the side of this highway and tried waving down several vehicles for help. None of them stopped. At least one woman and one child are dead after an explosion outside of a maternity hospital in Mexico City. What started off as a police pursuit around the noon hour northbound on the Don Valley Parkway shut it down and ended up like this. Police were trying to box in a stolen van. That van eluded police and got up to this area just south of Lawrence. It ended up clipping a vehicle and landed on its roof. Two suspects in the stolen vehicle ended up fleeing the scene. Police later caught them. Investigators looking into the crash of the Air Asia jet releasing some new information today but it appears they are withholding other details. In other news, a major bust involving stolen firearms in central Alberta, something police say is a growing trend in our province. And uh, Josh joining us once again, just to make sure that if you uh, haven't heard it's going to be really cold this weekend, um, you can uh, hear it's it It's going to be really cold this weekend. There it is. There Thank you, you Josh. <laughs> and coming up on CTV News, it, uh, we'll give you a few more minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Joel, what is the mood down there early on tonight? Well, it's a little hard to say at this point. The mood, uh, I guess you could say, is optimistic. They're expecting great things to happen here. Joel, because uh, certainly with those numbers at the bottom of the screen, they've got to be dancing. They're thrilled. There's smiles on people's faces. There's a, certainly a sense of optimism down here, uh, but they're not uh, yelling and screaming yet. I suspect in about an hour from now, when uh, Tory leader Ed Stelmack walks through the doors here, there will be a resounding reception for Thomas him. Thomas in Edmonton Castle Downs won after a couple of recounts last time. You won by three votes last time. Certainly a decisive victory for you this time. Were you expecting to win by this much? Oh no, not at all. Uh, from three from three to 3,000. Uh, any politician that uh, runs and thinks he's going to win is a fool. We talk about health issues. Ross Sherman is a uh, emergency and trauma physician at the Royal Alex Hospital, winning in Edmonton Meadowlark tonight. Congratulations to you. What issues do you want to bring forward now that you're in the uh, party? Well, the biggest issue for us is to be a good voice, for the, a strong voice for the people of Edmonton Meadowlark. The Premier, he's a good guy, and I think all of Britain saw that. Hey, Doctor, I believe you're being paged Thank you so to the much. stage. Rod Sherman, the uh, winner in Edmonton Meadowlark. Co chair of the campaign was saying to us that, you know, maybe 50, maybe mm -hmm. 55, but to walk away with 73, it's just staggering. a huge victory. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is, Joel. Thank you very much for uh, your reporting tonight. I know it's loud down there. I'm not sure if you can hear us, I but. Can, uh, I can. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear a thing. Thanks, Joel. I'm, I'm glad Stelmac finally showed up. Hey, uh, you know, yeah. You're yeah. off the hook now. Open it. Ooh, it's a little then, messy in there, eh? Then put the tube in. All the way down. All the way down. Then put, pull your valve open. Clean? Well, it's not clean yet, but I find if you if you if you don't smell, you know, you just breathe out of your mouth. It's easier. After a day or so, you don't notice it anymore. CTV News Six starts right now. Joel is uh, outside and in the middle of the mob outside Rexall Place. How's it going? Ra ra ra, sis boo ba, Daryl. We're having a ball out here. More and more people starting to file in. Seventeen thousand of these are waiting inside on each seat here at Rexall Place for all the fans. What's your uh, prediction for the series? Oilers in six. Oilers in six. Are they going to take it tonight? Oh yeah. All right. Overtime. Okay. You be careful. You take it easy. Oh 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 oh. oh. Turn around. Turn around. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you're trying to run the party. Boo. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? You know where everybody is? Look at them laughing. Where is everybody? Are they home? There's no, nobody home? Did you see what happened? Did you hear anything? Fine. Obviously don't want to be interviewed.